best bit of the show, I can't wait. When Jack Hilton's recording contract expired with HMV in 1932, he shocked the music press and the record buying public by signing with Fledgley Company, and essentially inferior company, Decca. Now, he also became a major shareholder and was given a pretty good deal. Typical Hilton. Once at Decca, he became a label mate of George Forby, a man with whom he had much in common, both national celebrities from a poor northern working class background. It was only a matter of time before they worked together. The first recording sessions on July the 1st, 1932, the Hilton's Bank were not credited. Instead, the record being credited to George Formby with orchestral accompaniment. Recorded two sides in London that day, Do Dio Do, brilliant, and uh, Chinese Blues, which is now better known as Chinese Laundry Blues, and become Formby's theme song, and the first in a number of songs referring to a certain gentleman, Mr. Wu, which we're all very fond of, I'm sure. Chinese Blues was a song about a lovesick Chinese laundry worker in the Limehouse Dockland area of London, which has a large immigrant Chinese population. All this time later, it can still, uh, still be found sometimes over in Act 2 of Aladdin Pantomime, which I know because I did it once. So, uh, wouldn't it be good to do a George Formby song? I suppose we need George Formby, don't we? Oh, I love it. Uh, it, gives me, it gives me very, very great pleasure to welcome to the stage the fabulous Jerry Maudsley. <laughs> Just completely thrilled that this is happening. Uh, Jerry is going to be George Formby, and we're going to do this 1932 version of Chinese Laundry Blues. Thank you very much. Turn that off and on it. <laughs> Jerry doing the show, it's just, just brilliant. Um, okay, 